Hey guys, this is Ricardo Gardner and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Now, today I'm going to look at how to fix a PC that will not power up. Now, I already have a video on this and basically if you are having an issue where your PC is not powering up any at all, meaning it's plugged in and none of the components are spinning, then I wanted to stay for this video. However, if your components are spinning and you're seeing no signal on the monitor, I'm going to put a link on screen right around here somewhere. And basically, I wanted to go to that um, video and I will show you how to fix this issue um, if you're seeing no signal on screen and the PC's components are spinning but not starting up. Alright? So guys, if you have sticked around, this is for those who are getting nothing at all out of their PC. Now, whenever you are getting nothing at all out of your PC, no power at all, you have plugged it in, it was working before, and you keep pressing the power button at the front. But no matter what, you keep pressing it. But as long as you're pressing it, you're not getting anything, meaning it's not powering up, then I'm going to show you how to fix it, all right? So it means that you have a very severe issue. Now, the first culprit in these cases um, to check is to actually check your power cable. Now, make sure that your power cable is good. Now, sometimes these things go bad without warning. For some reason, the pathways inside of the cable, they break, and then this is no good. And no matter what you try, you realize the PC won't come on. So the first thing I want to do is to borrow a cable just like this from another PC or from some other device. And I want you to connect it to the power supply of your computer. Right? So once you switch it out, they are very cheap. You can get them to buy and so on. Switch it out and try it. Now, in most cases, the PC will actually power up just by switching out this cheap cable. All right? So if you are lucky, it's just a simple problem like this. Now, another problem that might happen is that making your PC totally dead, as I'm demonstrating with this PC here, is that you, um, your power supply, all right? Now, your power supply here, as in this case, you can look at the side of it, you'll get the wattage. Um, in most cases, something like for simple PCs, like a 250 to 350 watt, you might even have a 500 watt, all right? Now, normally, as I said, the PC won't power up, you look on screen, and you see that the the monitor is on but it's um, dead you're not getting anything at all and the fans are not spinning any at all all right so in that case and you want to know if the power supply is dead what you need is a second power supply similar to the first one that's working you can buy them very cheaply what you're gonna actually do as you're seeing over here I have this old power supply all right it's a high-end one but it works just the same but what happened to this one was I was using the PC and then I heard when I turn it on, I came in, turn it on, I heard this loud popping sound. It was a pop. Now, what I had happened is that the capacitors inside of this thing had just um, exploded. The PC would not power up. Straight away, I knew that I had an issue, that um, the power supply was um, actually dead. So, one of the signs you know, is when you're trying to power it up, you probably hear a pop, and then the PC won't power up. Right? Another thing that might give it away that this is dead is that you go close to it and you're smelling and once you're smelling you're getting this burnt smell like burnt rubber burnt it won't be super um smelly but you'll get this odor that you're getting something like something is burnt now that's a, usually a clear indicator that the power supply is dead and in that case you'll have to buy back a new one right what you could actually do um if you're not competent enough to change out um the power supply um, you could get somebody to do it for you or what you could do is take a video or a snapshot of all the internals what what is connected where and then you attempt to change it yourself all right another reason why your pc might not be powering up any at all is that you made some mistakes in the connection or you had transported your pc and something was pried loose no reason why something might be pried loose is because of vibrations these things they are very important. For example, you have the 24 pin connector over here. That's the main part of the motherboard. Sometimes this thing can get loose, although it's very um, sturdy. You need to make sure it's set in place and it's not loose. Other connection points, you might have like the controller for the front unit where the power switch. All right. That power switch connect that connects to the motherboard like over here might be loose. So I wanted to check these connections to make sure they're right. You might also want to read your uh, motherboard manual to make sure that nobody had switch around the um, the jumpers here for power switch and so on. Because the power switch could become the reset switch and the reset switch could become the power switch if these things are mixed up. So I wanted to watch out for those. All right? 
Um, also make sure that your motherboard and so on is connected and all the cables are well um, plugged in. So just double check all of those. So as I said in recap, reasons why your PC might be not pouring on. Um, I mean not totally pouring on in terms of saying you're not getting anything spinning, none of the components are moving is your power cable. So check that first. Next, check your power supply. It might be dead. If you're getting smells or you heard a loud pop. All right. Um, next, it might be a case where um, the connections or the connector points, like um, you remove the PC and then these are loose. You need to double check those to make sure they're well plugged in. All right. And also, it might be uncommon, but if you have an older case, like some of these old rickety cases, what happens is that the, if you look at the front here, You'll notice that these buttons over time they get do get old so what to that means that they get worn out and whenever you're pressing them you don't realize it seems like they're pressing but they're actually gone or they're dead so a trick i learned in if, with the old pc case if it's going um these connections are going dead is if the reset that gets less um presses is still um there and functional i tend to just come over here and i switch around the jumpers for the um, for the power and the reset switch and then I just simply use the reset switch as the power switch as at the end of the day they're just switches alright so that's one thing I used to get rid of old um, dead switches that could be another reason why your PC is not pouring up any at all alright so guys if this did not work for this particular problem please check out the other one for no signal where the components are spinning and it seems like everything is working but you're seeing no signal on screen I'll put it on screen, it will be in the description and so on. Alright guys, so if you are having such issues, I hope this video was able to fix it for you or the um, other video was able to fix it for you. I basically com uh, covered everything comprehensively. Alright guys, if this was useful, please tap the like button. Also, please consider subscribing if you like our content. We do um, tech repair videos on phones, computers, you name it. Alright, so this is Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips saying goodbye.